For my final day at the Burbank Card Show, I didn't really know what it had in store for me. I had spent the first two days running around the show and I had barely been at my table at all. So for the final day, I was like, all right, let's actually sit down, take advantage of this dealer table that you paid all this money for, hopefully make some deals, do some buying, selling, at least something. I didn't know, but we were gonna give that a try. So for everyone who didn't believe, JGG right here sits down and actually edits. Bro, I'm literally editing the vlog from yesterday in the hallway right now. How long does it usually take for you to edit? This one's like about 40 minutes. That quick? Yeah. That's insane. Dude, uh, like literally, I even have like the whole thing just finished about five seconds. We walked up with the perfect timing. And you're uploading it right now. When is it going to be out, you think? Five minutes, 10 minutes. Grinding, that's 40 minutes as well. I thought you were gonna say like two hours or something. Oh, no. 40 is crazy. Hey, while I was sitting here, someone sold me a Josh Allen RPA. You're different, <laughs> man. This guy is crazy. And you're about to do it and then you're right back to making deals? Yup. Crazy, I'm not built like that. People are gonna enjoy it. All right, good to see you, man. All right, guys, we are off to a flying start here. Big kind of like just bulk deal here. There's cool stuff, patch autos, Tom Brady, just a ton of autos, football stuff that moves pretty well. Honestly, I'm not gonna say I got cooked, but I cannot help myself when it's like just a mystery bulk lot like this. Just so much stuff, so I paid a little higher than I wanted. I paid about $200, $2 per card. I didn't pay for some of the cheaper stuff, like the hoops and stuff like that. So not the biggest margins, but I don't know, it's fine. It's like my version of ripping. Hopefully do a little more buying today and some selling. All right, so we're in the main room now. Unfortunately, we were set up in like the smaller room and on Sunday, it is quiet in there. There's like no one in there. So ideally I like to set up, that's honestly where I get my best deals and you get to do a little bit of selling, but you gotta adjust. So we went to the main room, hopefully make something happen. So I didn't really catch these deals on camera. One, because I, I just missed them. They were early on in the day, but also two, because I know a lot of you guys don't collect this sport, but I got a ton of big Formula One deals done with my guys over at Lahai 51513. They came all the way from Hawaii with one of the most insane collections I've ever seen. So I wanted to show that off real quick and also get their thoughts on where's the Formula One market headed. All right, so we're here with Lahai Sports. I know some of you guys don't collect Formula One, but I do and I love it. So it's gonna be on the channel. And they have the crazy, this is the craziest Formula One collection I've ever seen. Like what was the journey or the thought process to collecting all this? So initially it's my boss's stuff. He felt really, really strongly about 2020 F1 mm -hmm. specifically. He saw a real inefficiency in the market. I think for him, it represented great growth. Yeah. So we've been coming out here to try to push 2020. Um, we love 21, we love 22. But the 2020 set, it's it's beautiful. 100%. I, mean, I feel the same way. Uh, yeah. So we ran a big auction back in September. So I remember that. Over 1,200 PSA cards going up, almost exclusively 2020, uh, and it did really really well. So we actually had 326 unique buyers. Wow. So only six percent of the auction was won by one single person, mm -hmm. which was really really encouraging. The collector base is amazing. The people are amazing. Collectors it's all collectors, yeah, right? Yeah. Exactly. It, that's what I really like. It's true collectors. I mean, you have so much crazy stuff here, like one of ones, dynasty. But what, like, what are your, some of your favorites in the case if you had to choose? In here, I actually really like the Lewis Hamilton Gold Wave. Do you mind if we pull them out yeah, as we go? Oh, uh, the Lewis Gold Wave is really cool. Yeah, so if I'm not mistaken, there's only been two gold waves that we've seen. That's true. I have, I've seen the yeah. golds, but I haven't really seen the gold waves. If I'm not mistaken, on the PSA pop report, we only saw two come up. Really, really unique. Yeah. Something that you only find in 2020. That's true. That's sick. And then I gotta, we gotta show off at least one of the dynasties. I we gotta, go the, with the, gotta go with the Lewis. Yeah. This is, oh, and a 10 too. I'm not even gonna guess on the price, but I, I won't put you in that position. But let's just say, I'll say this, you don't have to say anything. Easy six figure card for the right, like just, I'll say this, someone really wants this card and they'd be willing to pay whatever for it. This is insane. Um, and then the other one, the last one, sorry, I'm just grabbing no, no, through no, your showcase. This, this Vettel right here with the Shell logo Ferrari, just beautiful. I like some of the patches in this dynasty yeah. are just, Absolutely amazing. And with the black and white contrast, amazing, man. This is this is really good stuff. Everyone, check them out. Lahai 51, 
five, one, three, and say, are you guys going to be doing another auction or anything? So yeah, we are actually going to run an auction. We are aiming for September. We're okay. Hundred percent sure yet, but we want to make sure we're all set. It's actually a three-man operation back home, uh -huh. so it's a lot of labor. But yeah. Want to make sure that we're ready. We're aiming for September. We wanted to push it back out there. Definitely. Part two coming soon. Perfect. Well, everyone, check it out. Thank you, man. Thank you. Troy. All right, so when I'm at a card show, I'm looking for like unique stuff. A Ronaldo rookie for $20. You can't beat that. I'll take a swing there. Like the market has come down, but that's a steal. That's an absolute steal. You're not going to find this every day. You don't have to spend big money to find cool stuff. Like actually, honestly, I'll just keep this in the collection, you know. 30 years from now, who knows? This could be a big card. Anthony Edwards, game used. The 75th on there, that's beautiful. Where'd you pick, you picked this up here? Yeah, I picked it up here. I'm so happy. That's, that's like, crazy. People were so into the cards here. People don't do a lot of game use memorabilia yeah. and they should, like this is the coolest thing I think I've seen today, literally. Thank you. It's like, I'm so happy you come to you. Like, and also especially 2020, 2021. Yeah. So this is the only year, this is the special 75th anniversary. They're only doing it for that year. So this is like, forever is going to be a in huge the front the Jordan is also like in a diamond so that's great. that's amazing okay and you came all the way from germany yeah and picked this that's up the jersey you wear that's so insane that's awesome man thank, thank you for you. showing me you yeah, it. thank you so honestly i did not have a ton of luck walking around on this sunday it was really quiet and I think I mentioned it in another video, but it's just, it seems so competitive now to buy from dealers. There's so many repackers, there's so many sharks in the water that I just couldn't find any deals besides the, the few cards I picked up for a challenge. But Hobbybox Luke and a bunch of the other UK boys were nice enough to let me set up with them in the main room just for a little bit towards the end of the show. And I thought, why not give it a shot? There's only a little bit left in the show. It can't be worse than me being in the side room. But unfortunately, outside of this kid who was very, very nice, but looking for a very specific card. I'm just trying to find a Lin Swan. Lin Swan. No one's gonna ever have it. They might. Some of the older the, the dealers with some older cards. I bet you someone I has like it. The older cards. Yeah. He's a, he's a great player. I hope you find him. I didn't get a lot of action. I was kind of just sitting there, but once again, that's par for the course on a Sunday. But luckily, once again, UK guys were so nice. Uh, my guy Luke came over and he wanted to help me make a deal. He knew I had a live stream coming up, so he wanted to help me out, make a deal for a messy Prism Silver PSA 10 and a bulk lot of soccer cards to run on auction. Could be good, I'll take a look. So for the Prism Silver, I'm seeing 216, 239, 220. Yeah. So you wanna pay 80% of 200? Ideally. Yeah, and yeah. then call it 50 bucks. Everything? Two, so 250, 200 minus times 0.8. And then add for 210. Just call it 200 straight. Easy All as right. that. Thank, Thank you, man. You the... Of course. Easy last deal of Burbank. Uh, I think we're all getting out of here now, but at least we got one more with my yeah, guy. Yeah, nice to get one Bobby done. Box, Luke. Nice to get one done with you as well. Of course. But I think Messi's going to do well for you, especially with how popular he is. It's in the Argentina kit. It's a nice World Cup one and just a nice little singles bundle. Yeah, it's perfect. That's great. Always I hope fun. to see you at a UK see you so soon. soon. Absolutely. All right. See you all there. Thank you, man. All right, guys, that is a wrap on the Burbank vlogs. Hope you enjoyed it. I know there was a lot of them, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, really fun new content is coming. I think you guys are going to enjoy it, so make sure to like and subscribe so you can see that, and we'll catch you soon.